today we are going to be talking about solar panels, my solar system, and why I bought a solar panel. What does it do? How does it work? Actually, I kind of just bought a solar panel because it looked cool, everyone was doing it, and Elon Musk told me to. <laughs> Roll the intro. Man, I haven't rolled that intro for a long time. That was nice, that was nice. Hey, check this view out really quick. There's Victoria over there, cargo ship, military ship of some sort right there. Gorgeous, huh? All right, so this is my 100 watt Renogy solar panel. And what this thing does, what this solar panel does, is it basically sits up here all day and sunbathes. I wish I could just sit up and here and sunbathe all day long. So what it actually does is these little cells right here, they capture the sunlight and they turn the sunlight into energy and power electricity. And that electricity and power goes down these cables here, or these wires here into my Arctic Fox. So let's jump in my Arctic Fox and I'll explain further. All right, my friends, now we are in my 2017 Arctic Fox 990 truck camper. And the great thing about this truck camper is that it's pre-wired for solar, which means there's wires that come from the top of my roof all the way down to my batteries. So my solar panel is right up there and it is pre-wired with wires that come all the way down the side of the RV into my batteries, which are just out here. But before they go to my batteries, they have to go through a charge controller. And that is what this is right here. And what does a charge controller do? Well, it regulates the electricity coming from your solar panels going into your batteries. Two other things that this charge controller does is when the batteries are full, it will tell the solar panel, no more power. I'm not taking any more power from me to go to the batteries. At nighttime, when it's dark out, your solar panels are actually trying to suck power out of your batteries and so this creates almost like a one-way valve no electricity is going to come through this and go back out your solar panels because this is all pre-wired all i had to do was drill a hole in here and the wires are already ready for me to connect so there are the wires under there and then you can see the hole in the wall and that's the great thing about being pre-wired you do not have to worry about running wires anywhere through your rv so now what happens is this is the only stop that that power makes. It stops here, this regulates it, and then it goes down to my batteries. I have two 12 volt deep cycle batteries, and that is where the power ends up from my solar panels. So it's already hooked up. So my solar panel is doing its job. It's creating electricity that's going through my charge controller. My charge controller is regulating that electricity and then it's going into my battery. But what happens next? How do I use that power that's stored in my battery? Well, your batteries create DC power and that's great. If your appliance runs on DC power, then it will just run straight from the battery. So if everything in your RV ran off DC power, that would be great. Right? You could use your lights, you could use your outlets, everything in your RV. The problem is, is that it doesn't. A lot of the appliances in your RV need AC power. Let me explain how you get AC power. This is my inverter. This inverter takes electricity from the battery, DC electricity, and converts it into AC electricity. Now there's all types of inverters. Uh, there's actually really expensive inverters that hook up to your entire RV so that every single outlet in your RV will work. But I don't have that much that I need to charge on AC power. So what I have is I have this inverter that gives me AC power and then that comes down to a simple power bar. So I can hook my electronics up and everything that doesn't run off of uh, off DC power I can hook up here. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense how it all works in the system with solar panels. Let me just talk about the solar panels a little bit more. They're a 100 watt Renogy system. I paid right around $250 for that solar panel. I installed it myself, drilled the bolts into my RV, and then just simply hooked it up to the outlet they already have, 
and then the rest of the wires were already done for me. This solar panel that I have right now at maximum efficiency, which it will never run at maximum efficiency, is five amp hours. So five amps per hour. When the sun is out, the solar panel is cleaned, everything is in perfect working condition, five amps per hour. There's other ways, obviously, to charge your battery faster if you need to. You can get more solar panels. You can add another one, another one. You can have 20 amps um, you know, per hour on a sunny day. That's, that's, that'll charge your battery faster. You can start your generator. You can purchase a speed charger that clamps right onto your batteries, a speed charger that maybe charges them at 25 amps per hour, and that way you can charge your batteries faster. A really nice thing about solar, though, is that it's working for you all day long. It's just up there all day long. You don't have to start a generator up. You don't have to monitor your generator. It's just simply working for you. And once you pay for the solar panel, it's kind of like you're just getting free energy from the sun, which is really neat. I hope that that explains some things for you. You learned something. My solar panel, my charge controller, I'll put it in the description below. Like I said, I paid about $300 for everything. If you're, that's a Canadian, those Canadian dollars. So if you're American, you're lucky because the dollar is so much better for you. So check it out in the description below if you're thinking about getting solar yourself. If you're kind of like, okay, that's great. You know, I want to see some scenic shots. I want to see what this truck camper can really do. Check out my other videos. Videos. It's awesome. And if you feel like subscribing, you're more than welcome to do so. Other than that, guys, my name is Taylor. Keep living that dream, and I will see you next time. Plenty more videos on the way. Bye bye. Whoa, whoa, hold up. One sec, one sec, one sec. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, bonus feature. One thing about the bonus feature is I said that it would be at the end of every video, but for some videos that or telling a story just doesn't make sense to kind of interrupt the end, end beautiful scene of me just walking away into paradise. So uh, just on some of my videos, I'll have bonus features. Bonus feature today, a way to charge your battery a little bit faster, I found, because someone, thank you, you know who you are in the comment section, said, buy a speed charger, it's faster. So what's happening right here is I've got my generator hooked up to a speed charger, that speed charger is hooked up to my battery. It's a 25 amp speed charger. So I'm charging my, my batteries faster than my solar panel ever could, but I'm obviously using a generator and it's loud and annoying. But here's the little setup. Generator. Let's really quick do that walk away again. What was I saying again? Hey guys, keep living that dream. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. My name's Taylor. Bye bye. Baby, don't touch me.